Now let us talk about the marginal cost. What is marginal cost? One two definition is rate of change. We have been using these margin the marginal concept again and again. So, rate of change in total cost with respect to with respect to quantity produced. So, basically marginal cost is nothing derivative partial derivative of total cost with respect to quantity produced. And let me say let me write it further this is T c is equal to F c plus V c of q that we have just discussed and fixed cost is something that does not change with the output. So, this is also equal to the partial derivative of variable cost with respect to quantity fine. Yes, sir. If we look at the if we do not want to use calculus what would be the def definition of marginal cost? The cost of cost to produce one more unit So, what we are saying let us say marginal cost at 1 what we have is this is what we will get and what is this T c of 1 is F c plus V c of 1 yes sir and what is total cost to produce 0 output F c plus F c V c 0 V c of 0 and V c of 0 is equal to 0. zero. So, what do we get F c F c gets cancelled and what we can write it is V c 1 divided by 1. 1 and this is average variable cost to produce one more unit uh, average variable cost to produce one unit of output. So, marginal cost at 1 is equal to average variable cost. What can we say about marginal cost to produce second unit? Can we have any relationship between marginal cost to produce the second unit and the average variable cost of producing two units? Notice the language I say the marginal produce marginal cost to produce one more unit at level 2 okay, because we are moving from 1 to 2, but here we are saying average variable cost to produce two units. two units, because what we are talking about here is total variable cost or variable cost to produce two units divided by 2. two. Can we talk about any relationship here? So, <laughs> marginal cost of 2 would be marginal cost of 1 2 minus marginal cost of 1 upon 1. So, what we can do we can write it like this yes sir. What is this equal to marginal cost total cost of 2 total cost to produce 2 minus total cost to produce 1 1 and what we have here is fixed cost variable cost to produce 2 2 units minus fixed cost minus variable cost to produce one unit fine yes sir this will get cancelled and what we get here is variable cost to produce the second unit minus variable cost to produce first unit and what is this equal to avc1 vc1 is equal to mc1 yes sir of course what you said is also right but here we are more interested this is equal to mc1 so, V c 2 is M c 2 plus M c 1 and similarly, how about V c q? 
can I say it is equal to m c q plus m c q minus 1. Yes, sir. Why? Sir, because uh, the variable cost of producing nth good would be the marginal cost of producing that good starting from 1, like the change individually. So, basically the, what we are saying here we are using the discrete changes, yes, sir. notice here we are using the discrete changes. Let us look at the marginal cost, okay. marginal cost is like this, okay. this is the marginal cost and here we have is quantity. If we integrate from 1 to let us take it from 0, because here now we are using till here we are using discrete. and here we have continuous. Okay. So, from 0 we talked about delta change in output and so on. Okay. What we have here is, what is this? Area under curve. In other words, we are integrating it from 0 to q we are integrating it from 0 to q. What would we get if we integrate it from 0 to q? So, that would give the variable cost. That why? Because it is the summation of marginal cost for each good. So, here what we have done here is we have taken we have broken it into the small part Yes, sir. Okay? and we have just derived this. This is for 1 this is for the second and so on. If we keep on adding, what we will get is variable cost to produce q unit minus variable cost to produce 0 unit and variable cost to produce 0 unit is 0. So, we end up getting variable cost to produce q, q units. units. 